come. Amen. Amen. And you know, I just love it because he's Lord. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. He's still the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 And I thank him. Amen. I'm going to do a little something different today. Amen. Since God is uh, cleaning house. Amen. I'm going to ask y'all, would y'all move over here? Yes, ma'am. Amen. So I uh, see that section just like it in my tongue. You don't mind? You come over here. Amen. I want, I want everybody to be right over here. Amen. Okay. Amen. I, the devil's a lie. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm asking y'all. See, this is something different. Amen. It's got to be a change. Amen. 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 I'm not going to. Amen. I can. Say this much, amen, God is still on me, said, so I can look at everybody in one place, amen. amen. I just thank God for that, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord. I really appreciate that, amen. Because I don't know what God do, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow what he says, amen. 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 I was stopping the proper read, amen, this morning. Amen. Thank God is disturbing and shaking. Yes. Yes. Amen. You can be so at peace. I got an echo with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was talking to her this morning. I said, Lord, I'm, I'm learning some things even about myself. Amen. Amen. That God is disturbing your peace. Amen. Amen. You know, I was telling her probably reading it. Just come to me this morning, Mother Thompson. How I was telling her, I said, I'm uh, on my job. That's disturbing. Yeah. Everywhere I go, even my home or wherever, it's a disturbing. Amen. Yeah. And praise God. Can I get you come over to the side? Amen. And uh, and I began to look, and then I mentioned about Peter, how God. Amen. God began to, Peter asked God to bid him to come on the water. Yeah. And then the Holy Ghost let me know the water was calm when Peter asked God. Yeah. Amen. To walk on the water. But when he got on the water, Jesus caused the water to get him to disturb me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so, and I began to tell Barbara, I said, I see what God is doing to me. Uh, he's came to a mountain of disturbing. So my content is still far. I can stay focused Amen. even in disturbing. Amen. You know, hey! I mean, you know, sometimes, praise God, we can be function and not be able to function when we are among disturbing. Yes. You lose your focus. Yes. You begin to drop things. You get nervous. Yes. And God is showing me, I will teach you how to even function in disturbing. Yes. Amen. And I thank God because I'm disturbed. It's stirring me at the church. I mean, I'm in a, a torment of disturbing. Yes. Everything around me is disturbed. Yes. Even when I'm talking to people, they are in disturbing. So God is showing me I got to learn how to function even in disturbing. And I thank God for the shaking today that I'm going through when I didn't understand. But I understand now what God is doing. That I'm in a different realm of the anointing of God because Jesus functioned in disturbing. Come on, y'all. We as people, we do not function in disturbing. We find ourselves grabbing hold to other things to bring God in our life and it causes us to suffer more. Amen? So I thank God today that I caught that revelation today that I got the function in disturbing. Amen? I hope I'm helping somebody else today. Amen? That's where we at. Amen. Father, I want to say thank you. And God, that you are God and you're changing not. And Father, we thank you for the revelation and knowledge that you are beginning to show your people. And God, as we begin to lose ourselves and trust you in the Holy Ghost, that you will bring total deliverance unto our spirit, our soul, and our mind. Father, that we be the sons and daughters you are calling us to be in these last days. Because God, these are the evil days. And God, we got the Lord how to function in these days. And Father, we thank you for our deliverance today. And 
and Lord, as I lift up my forbidden unto you as a living sacrifice, only accepted unto you, which is our reason service, that we be not conformed to this world, but be ye trapped so by the renewing of our mind. And I thank you for a renewed mind today, that we are walk totally in our deliverance. How you want us to function in this lifetime, because God, there is a shaking. You are the shaker of our lives. And I thank you today for the shaking, Lord God, that understanding that you have given me today, Lord God, what you are doing. And Lord God, I receive my shaking that I'll be able to stand in these days, that I be not a mover, unshaken in the thing that I'm going through. And God, we're going to be careful to give you the praise today. Oh God, yes, we do receive your word today. What did you assign us today? In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's give God a hand. Amen, amen, amen. amen. I truly thank God for I got a lot of scriptures, but I hope I can get through some of them, amen, if I haven't had another episode. But I want you to know that God has got a plan. And you know, today my topic is return to. Amen. That's my topic. Amen. Today, amen, and I'm going to let Willie play this song. I want you to say it's kind of going to be on my teaching mode because I'm learning this in the Word, Mother Thompson and everybody. Sometimes you wonder why you keep going through the same thing and keep you returning to the same thing. And you wonder why and God showed me today through Moses, amen. So you're going to see why you re keep returning to some things because within we don't face things. We don't end nothing. So we end up returning to it. And then sometimes we have to return to things because we won't face ourselves. Amen. So Moses had to face him. Amen. And so I said, Lord, thank you. That's why sometimes you return to some same thing. You want to now I should have overcome this, but God had to show you again. You haven't overcome it because you didn't finish it. Amen. So this is we're going to play this to all of my steps. So today God's going to order us in the word. Yeah, just stay still and just meditate on that song and then you'll be able to receive the message. Amen. Amen. I thank God. I'm tired of returning, y'all. I don't know about you right here. I'm, I'm tired, brother, of returning to the same thing. It don't want me out. Amen. I've been broke. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it don't let all my returns, yeah. baby. Yeah, <laughs> it don't let returns so I'm at the Walmart. I don't walk. Now, that's all right. Yeah. I get my money back, but I keep returning on some stuff. I need to break me. Yeah. I'm tired of it, lady. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to finish this thing out. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All of my steps. Amen. Then we're going to get in the Word. Amen. Because I got a lot of scriptures. I got to Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, glory. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, my God. Mm. Lord, your order is in your glory. My God, thank you.
God wanted to bring some things in what? Oh, amen. Camera, can I get y'all to kind of sit on this? You can sit right there and you're your husband. Amen. Just so y'all can see y'all right Amen. Today we're going to talk about return to it. Like I said, we always, you wonder why sometimes you go through the same thing again. You, first year, you might not go to it. Then that second year, head come back around and Amen. Amen. You yeah. wonder why I keep returning to the same thing. Amen. Amen. And so today I'm going to show you in the word through Moses. Amen. And we're going to kind of, I'm going to go to Exodus 2. 11 through 15. I'm going to show you what Moses went through. Then I'm going to get over there to where I'm going to get to the scriptures where to return. So I want you to see what happened to him. Amen. Let Exodus 2, 11 through 15. Amen. I'm going to get Moses in. You're going to go to why you're going to return to some things. Sometimes God has to return you to some things because you haven't faced it. Then sometimes what you go through, God uses it for his glory. Amen. 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 Sometimes some things you have to re return to to get somebody else out. Amen. Amen. You have to learn the example of what you return to because we try to dodge things. Amen. And sometimes God wants to use your work life to bring some good life. Amen. Amen. And we try to run from some things and God said, I want you to face this. So I can use this for my glory. And so you're going to see how God used Moses in what Moses did. But God turned around and used that same thing Moses did to bring the children of Israel out. Amen. So I want y'all to look at this real close today. Amen. 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 Let me let them get in. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. My God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. So we need to learn how to go ahead and face things and go ahead and deal with that. Stand your heart till I get y'all to sit right there. I want y'all to, I'm, I'm doing the way the Holy Ghost had me to do it today. Amen. I don't know why God's doing it this way, but he's doing it. Amen. And I ain't questioning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we can learn how to function in life. You know, people are not functioning. I, was, I went through some things on my job listening to some people talking. People are functioning more on pain and hurt and disappointment than they is life. So something that we need to return to the faith so we can get what? Delivered. And so God wants to deliver us. Amen. And we hurting people hurt people. Amen. So today we're going to show you how God had took Moses back to the place that he feared the most. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes you go, sometimes you have to go back to something that you feared the most. Mm -hmm. That you haven't even, what say, realized or faced it or dealt with it, so you, it keep coming back at you. Amen. That's just like a, 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 a soul ain't got well. Amen. Amen. You just function. <laughs> But you function off the wrong thing. He said, I am come to give you life and life more abundant. And I'm learning people not living or functioning off the abundant life of Christ. The true creator of your life because we are functioning off of pain, disappointment, hurt, anything that is not of God. So damn, don't bring, it don't bring life to us. It brings destruction within ourselves. We find ourselves grabbing hope to other gods. Amen. So I'm going to show you in the Word. Amen. Let's, let's look at Exodus, the second chapter, verse 11 through 15. The name of the first is Pisgah. That is it. Uh, Exodus, second. Yes, ma'am. Verse 11. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I thought, see, I what I'm saying. We get what? All. Yes. We lose force. Yes. We lose function. We, we lose, uh, we can't stay what? Focus. See, that's what I'm saying because we, we deal with and not using that which he did. I mean, I, God allowed that to be seen and we, we lose our focus on life. And then it confuses who? Everybody else. 
and see, I want, and I'm, I'm getting hold to the, 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 these these spirits now. What God is trying to show, so we can be walking in victory more than we are in defeat. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you them by Moses. Okay, then we're gonna get in there where I wanna go. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens. <laughs> And he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. What he did, he killed the man. To him, he thought he what was heaven. See, something we do, we think that we heaven, but actually, we are harming it. All right. Yeah. So he read, so he did that. He hid the man. Now look what came to harm him. See, we do things. It comes back what to harm us. Yeah. Okay. Look, look what happened. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strolled together, and he said to them that did the wrong, Wherefore smitest thy thy fellow? And he said. Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killedest the Egyptian? Okay, stop right there. Now see how he he saw these two fight. Uh -huh. So he stepped in to get them to what? Not to do that. But what he did, he throwed it back at him. Come on. So now is I'm making sense with you. Something would turn around and return to you. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of that, now what the man said, God had, uh, now Moses had received his calling right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The man spoke his, his destiny. Did you make a, are uh, you made God over us? Mm -hmm. Who made the a prince and a judge over us? Who made? See, God going to use that. Use Moses, what? To bring the children of Israel out. He killed for them, mm -hmm. but he also going to bring them out. What I'm trying to say to you, a lot of things that you are, are going through that you need to face, Amen. <laughs> to face, and it keep returning to you because God wants to take it and use it to bring somebody else out. So, but you won't come out. Amen. Come. That's right. Amen. See, you won't come out your pain and hurt and disappointment because you keep what? Returning to it. You look at it as a destruction, but God is looking at a, a part of to be glorified. Amen. So don't look at your dysfunction to feel like it's a destruction, but actually it's going to bring life to somebody else. Amen. Somebody Amen. Is Amen. Amen. So we need to, if he return you to something, he's trying to bring you out along with somebody else. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, but if you don't come out, how can somebody else come out? Come on, it's not making sense. So that's why we keep what returning to something that we want to come out of, but we don't want to go through the process of the coming out. You have to finish it. I'm not making sense. Much, much sense. It's causing us pain, bro. See, then, okay, I'm going to get, okay, get the, come on. And here. Moses feared and said, surely this thing is known. See, it, it wasn't known yet. Nobody knew but the Hebrew. But he feared that it's already known. Hey, you been around people, and you come around people, nobody else said nothing about your life, mm -hmm. but you feel like they know something about you, mm -hmm. and you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you shut your own self off you shut your own self out I didn't shut you out you shut yourself out 
because you feel like I know something about you. Come on. That's what the enemy used against us to shed us off of each other because we don't get to know each other. So feel set in on them. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Fear will cause you yeah. top men. Yeah. <coughs> so you never finish nothing. Amen. Yeah. All right, come on. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. So when Pharaoh found out, he didn't know at first. Ashley. He didn't know. You know how he know? Because of Moses' actions. Come on now. I don't know nothing about you. But your action will tell me more about you than you even telling me. Come on, y'all. Amen. 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 Moses actually what told Pharaoh. It didn't say nobody told Pharaoh. He heard. He heard. Pharaoh heard. Moses left with no reason. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. All the time me and you were playing, Lena, I'm laughing. We having a good time. <coughs> then all of a sudden you back off of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, why? Why? What have I done to him? Yep. What's going on? So it made me see who you really are. Oh, oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to make it sense? Amen. So a lot of people call friction on themselves because you won't face it. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Moses still had to face it. God brought him right back when he ran from him. Come on. Sometimes you wonder why stuff keep coming back. Because I haven't faced it. And I haven't finished it. So my world is being shaken. Reoccurring. So something returned to you because you never faced it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But God will use what you did for His glory to set you free. Moses got free. And the people got free. Come on. Let me show you. Okay. The third, the third chapter. Stay where you at. Come on, 7 to 12. I'm still talking about Moses a little bit so I can get y'all in where I want y'all to go. And look what God, now look what God did. Y'all saw Moses, now look what God can do. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard that cry by Jesus. Okay, I'm, I'm on Exodus the third verse, third chapter, verse 7 through 12. Exodus 3. Yeah, I'm on 3. Start at verse six, uh, 3. <coughs> oh, 7 through 12. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I got my paper book wrong. Okay, 7 through 12. See how you try to get me off? Yes. All right, come on. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmaster. Okay, so God heard it. Moses was in Egypt. Moses fleed Egypt. So God already had chosen Moses for the task. Mm -hmm. See? God already chose you for a task. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so if he chose you for a task, the task going to be done. But we rebel <coughs> to it, and then we had to turn around and we'll go right back around to the do you submit to God's will? Every time you think you done got on time, you ever been on thinking, mm -hmm. I got it all, then all of a sudden it's a Because yeah. <laughs> if some reason, 
God got a will and purpose you that you didn't submit to when he was doing the shaking. Amen. Okay. Now look what happened. Come on. For I know their sorrows. Mm -hmm. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Now he done came down. God have come down to deliver verse 8. I am the third chapter. He then came down to deliver the children of Israel out. So it ain't left up to you who he choose to use when he come down. Amen. <laughs> His choice was to use Moses. He then came down. Moses done been in the midst. Ooh, God, I thank you. Sometimes you done been in the midst of something that you trying to forget. And God said, I want to use you in this area. You want to not go back to it. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people say, I don't want to go back to the hood. Sometimes God wants to see you back to the hood. Oh, amen. 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 But you don't want to go back to the hood. That's right. But he got a reason for the hood. Amen. He came down for the hood. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on now. You wonder why I'm thinking about this person. Because God then came down and put it in your thoughts. Okay, but. And to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large. Mm -hmm. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. Unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Evites and the Jebusites. Okay, come on. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress thee. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. So God, Moses didn't choose God. God chose who? Moses. So God know who he chose. Who he called, he qualifies. Amen. So if he re <laughs> had to bring you a place to return you to something, you need to question God, why do I keep going through this cycle? We don't question God. We don't ask it. All we do is go through the torment and the regret and don't know, and then it cease off, but we're still in that same position the next year. But I don't think them is worse than it was the other year. That's right. Amen. Come on. Because we didn't des <laughs> we didn't deserve the problem and then we didn't solve the problem solve. That's right. Sometimes God can't solve something until yes. you go through it. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> something you just ordained to go through. Amen. Something you ordained to deal with people that you say I would never deal with. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the kind of people God given me. I said, Lord, why are you giving me these kind? You give me something to settle down and just want tradition. Wait a minute, he won't give me that kind. He give me kind that I have to fight with. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I got these kind of folks out there. They coming in here. These kind that been on alcohol, drugs. All. I'm dealing with them kind of folks. Amen. And they get on my nerves. <laughs> they get on my nerves. <laughs> Can't tell them nothing. Then I got hard-headed church folks in here won't listen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So I got all mixed of folks. So he keep me the what disturbed. So I got to know how to stay calm in the midst of my disturbance. <laughs> So I ain't gonna return to this no more. I done learned. Come on, I want you to make it sing. <laughs> so somewhere you got to deliver for somebody. Amen. Yeah, In the midst of your disturbing. <laughs> 
You wonder why? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? See, his mind said, Relax. Moses brought them a man. You, God, you want me to go back deep? Go, go kill me. <laughs> See, then some of us. We afraid what someone going to say to us and we go back. I hear somebody, man, I remember when you used to get out here and do all the this. Man, I remember. They remember, but when they see the light of you, you ain't in that no more. So how can your light shine if it, you can't go back to that which you came from? <laughs> You, get, you can't join them in darkness, but let your light shine among them that, hey, if you can overcome it, I can overcome it. <laughs> so something you got to return to so you can get overcome of it. Amen? Because some people think they can't overcome something. Like they're going to live this the rest of their life. But if you can overcome something, then they are say, well, if he can overcome it, I can overcome it. See, you are hope for the hopeless. So if you're going to return to something, how can you get hope? <laughs> Amen. And look what verse 20. And he said, certainly I will be with you. And this shall be a token unto thee, that I have seen. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God on this earth. See, but I, I got the scripture even that the token. That means God was going to show Moses who he really is in him. I got that, but I'm going to go on over. I, I, I ain't going to break verse 12 now, but that showed me. God had more confidence in Moses than Moses had confidence in him. So you got to realize God got more confidence in you than you got confidence in yourself. Amen. So if he tells you to return to something, don't you know he got a, a spirit to save God on you, to snatch you out before you die in it? Amen. Amen. It's just going in there. Amen. All right, we'll show you. Let, okay, let's go to verse Exodus 4 chapter. This is where I want to get to. Starting at 18 to 21. How God began to talk to him. God talked to Moses. He talked to Moses with the burning bush. Now he got Moses convinced. So Moses going to his father-in-law telling him what he got to do. This is where I got to show what he said return to. See, God got, to <laughs> God got to convince you that what you're going through or what you're returning to, I got a reason for you going there and I got a way for you to escape. Amen. But we are not seeking for the escape part. Now, look how long. Now, I've been dealing with this thing. How many years probably did me? I'm a long track. Five. Seems like it's eight. But <laughs> she said five. I've been dealing with this thing five years. And it all things, it's the same thing. Ain't even one thing changed out of it. What? But it's the same. Same sight. I hope y'all looking at y'all while I'm teaching. Amen. <laughs> Amen. See what that you kind of ain't got. So I ain't really made an A plus. No. I got an F. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. Come on, y'all. You think about I made an F because I haven't fully grown in that area. So what it does? It keep coming back to me. Amen. Cause I ain't gonna have the function in my discernment. Get you all focused. You can't stay focused. 
to the point that when somebody come around, you snapping that folk when they say hi to you. What you hang them on to me? <laughs> somebody ain't done nothing to you, you take your frustration out on somebody else instead of dealing with it. So what you at, you type? Really you want to take the first right on the one that you want, really want to take it out on. All right. you, get, you end up taking it out on the one that around, comes around you. Thank you, Lord. Man, that's so good. Come on, man. So we got the what? We even take it out on God. Mm-hmm. And he tried to use our action to set you free. So we bring you back around to it. He said, now you got to look at what I'm freeing you from. Because I can't let go of something if I don't know what it is. Sometimes I know what it is and I don't want to let go of it yet. So I need to face reality. I ain't ready to let go of it. So that means I got to take what? The consequences of what I'm going through while I'm trying to let go of God change. Amen. But I can't let it change me. And what happened is, I, it changes me instead of me changing it. So Moses had to realize he got to return. God had to convince him. He went through all that. Now watch. When, when he got it, look what God said. In verse, uh, Exodus 4, chapter, verse 18. Two, two, one. Look what happened. And Moses went and returned to Jethro his father in law and said unto him, Let me go, I pray, and return unto my brethren which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. First he had to get what? Commission from his father in law. He returned there first. Sometimes you got to get right with people that you have done wrong or felt like they done you wrong. But yet you enough to what? Ask them to forgive you. Give up the right for the wrong. Sometimes you have to return. A lot of people don't want to what? Don't want to give up their right. So they want what? Ask for forgiveness. They want return to it. They we still trying to? I know family ain't spoken 20, 30 years. Folks when you speak to folk. They're holding what? A grudge. Sometimes you need to return and be the better person. Now, sometimes I'll put you in that position. Now, I feel somebody need to return and say, forgive me. Thank you, Lord. Come on. See, he has to what? Return. Now, he did that. Now, look what he did now. And the Lord said unto Moses and you, Go, return to Egypt, for all the men are dead. Now God let Moses know. So I see how he had already let all them that would stop to kill you, they did. Mm-hmm. So your past is gone. It's gone. It's clear. Now come on now. See, we, we still holding on to stuff. But your past has You don't want to keep holding on to your past. It's dead. Yeah, so stop returning it in your mind, in your heart, because we function off of these things. And the Lord said, I come to give you life and life more fun. You function more off of hurt than you do life. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We hurt, we function on what our past life has done to us than we do our future. How is it it cause us more pain, hurt, cause us aches in our body, we keep a headache, we stay stressed out because we hold it on to past life and it's dead. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God has to tell him it's dead. We even take things out on our children. Pan life with relationship with me and we got them the children looking like the dad. You first thing do you treat the child like a dog. Mm-hmm. And really you actually want to treat the man that way, but you take it out on them. Amen. Come on, y'all. It's not making sense. Amen. People do not want to face facts of 
life. Amen. It happened to you, but God wanted to use it for his. Now look what else he said. And Moses took his wife and his sons and set them upon the ass. And he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy hand. But I will harden his heart, and that he shall not let people go. I want to show you, so I'm going to break that down in verse 2. Like, take your time, read it again, then I'll tell you when to stop. And when the Lord said unto Moses, he, he stopped the right there. When he said to Moses, now come on. When thou goest to return into Egypt. When thou return. See that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh. He want him to make sure you do it right in front of your enemy. Mm -hmm. Come on. He wanted to do it in front of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was his enemy. So he couldn't hide. First thing, he was hiding. So Moses got to get him to face him. Face, I want you to do it in front of Pharaoh. So you are facing it. We don't want to face nothing, Cam. If it's an ace, is a ace. Don't say it's a deuce when it's a ace. Amen. If you see me lie, I'm a lie. Don't say she just tell the field. Mm -hmm. I lie. Amen. Amen. We don't. Amen. We have to face who people are. Amen. And pray that God will bring us in. How am I going to get delivered? You won't tell God. God serves a lot. And God said, you said, Lord, just help Sarah. Pray. But you never tell him to help me with. Thank you, Jesus. It's not making sense. So he told him to do it in front of Pharaoh. What happened? Which I have put in thy name, but I will harden his heart. So he told him, now I'm, put, I'm in your hand, but I'm going to harden Pharaoh. A lot of times God want to get something totally out of your life yes. so he had to what? Make it disturbing. It got to get worse before it get better. Yes. But we don't want to go through the worst for it to get yes. <laughs> Something in your marriage going to get worse first but as the years go It'll get better. But you got to come to the place of understanding. Understanding of God, how you feel, and they feel. Then some people don't want to stay in long enough to get no understanding. Yeah. <laughs> and then they find themselves repeating oh and oh. Amen. You first got the gun. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Some people don't even different race. I'm raised different than you. But I'm trying to change your race and to my race. Amen. But when I should just embrace your race and learn from you any way you learn from me. But we don't do that. We busy what? Trying to control. Moses couldn't control what God planned. So that's why I'm returning because I'm a controlling free. <laughs> so I need to learn to stop being what? Controlling. Amen. Now, does that make any sense? Yeah. My God. So that called me to keep going yeah. through this till I learned to stop being a controller and realize that the person, I don't know why I'm going this way, but I'm going. Lord, got me. I got to realize within that that person don't feel the way I feel. They wasn't raised the way I feel. So I need to have a compassion or understanding that they don't know. Amen. So if I be the light, I can get them out of it. So God got to just 
disturb me to get in position that I can deal with you. Amen. Something we just can't deal. deal with. So God has to get us the position so we can deal with it. Because people are not the same. Amen. It don't seem like the same. So I disturb who? Me. <laughs> So God was in Moses' hand. All right. Look, look, okay. okay. Got that. Look down at uh, Exodus 3 and 20, verse 20. Look, yeah, Moses did not. Moses on return. Look at what's going on. Get yeah, verse 20, 3 and 20. It's a little flipping now. I'm going to show you. Verse 20. Okay. And I will stretch out my hand. God said, I'm going to what? Stretch, stretch out, out my hand. God had a plan. Yes. Moses had to follow it just like God planned. So, something you got to return to, and you got to follow it just like God got it. <laughs> See what he told us. And smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. See, he had a plan. He was finna get rid of Egypt. He gonna smack. Moses had to return to do it just like he said. So if I don't... <laughs> get myself out of the way. I ain't doing it just like he said. So who called my life to be rash? Yeah. You did. Because you ain't doing it like he said. So I end up having to do what? Return. Return. <laughs> so I need to do it the way he said do it. He, they not, he didn't do that. He told me that I can't have that right now. I need to not go over him and get it. Mm -hmm. Then I got to what? Return. Right back. Come on. I got to do it just like he <coughs> said. do it. Because if he hadn't did it just like God said, Pharaoh would have been still tormenting Moses. You wonder why folks still at you because you ain't did it like he did. So you still going through that same cycle. You wonder why these folks keep bothering me because you didn't do it like he said. Amen. Amen. <laughs> It's in my hand. Don't mm -hmm. waste the time. Move out of the way and let me. Let me see. Ooh, my God. So I'm tired of returning. And I'm tired of returning. Michelle, I'm tired of returning. I'm tired of returning. Amen. Tired of it. I'm going to go do this. Amen. I'm going to care. Amen. Don't deal with folks when you're upset. No, 
Because you ain't up on it. You ain't up. That's why like some people folks get killed, folks, because they deal with people in anger. Amen. We do that. Yes, Karen, we do that. We can't sit down and hold a conversation. Two dog bar. And look when you get to we don't know what nothing goes in there and we don't know what we are. Like. Nobody has no understanding. You see what then we return back to our lady. Oh my God, I hope I'm heavy. Because it's so heavy me today. If nobody else don't get my stuff, I got I'm tired. I ain't returning this no more. I'm going to keep at it till I get it right. Amen. So you got to do it right. Amen. Okay. Let's go to Exodus 9 through 20. Now, y'all see? I love this. I love this. You got on your list Exodus 7. Oh, okay, yeah, get that. And I thought I thought I I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. no, we just went to Exodus 3.20. Okay, let's get seven. See there, Lord, help me say I'm cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get hyped up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did all I get to heaven so fast, so y'all do I have to come back down here. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Okay, let's seven. seven three seven. Yeah, three through seven. Now look what else it says, Lord. Give me back to and I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Now look at that. He said, I will. So what God is saying, telling Moses, I'm going to increase me. heat on Pharaoh. Sometimes God put heat on your enemy to come after you. Amen. Amen. So the more you get up, it be peace in your house. Yeah. Amen. Then some more you get up, like all hell the broke loose in the house. Amen. So that means he put heat Amen. on it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord say, God knows how to turn it up, down, yes. up, and down. He knows some need to be burnt off you real fast. Mm -hmm. So he'll return something around you so quick. And sometimes he has to burn off you quick. Because any of them might have something set up for you to do something you will regret. Amen. Come on. So he, he told Moses that he's going to do what he and I will multiply my signs and wonders. I will harden Pharaoh's heart. See, he said, I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. So he told him what we're going to have. God said that warn us. What's going to happen for that day happen? Yes, he does. Amen. He, he prepared you. It's going to happen. So just get yourself prepared for it. Don't get all of, all out of prayer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you think about the prayer that he taught to this disciple that I give you your daily bread so he done set your day up. So he knew Johnny going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. That's true. He already set your mind and your heart that he's coming back. Uh -huh. So now get yourself prepared for what Johnny going to throw at you. Amen. But you can overcome it. Yeah, Amen. Amen. Come on. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. So Pharaoh, he ain't going to hearken to you. He ain't going to listen to you. Now, I went through that this month. I knew they weren't going to listen to me. I told them, but I knew it was going to be. And it happened. Just like I said. Come on. That I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth my armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. <laughs> so God knew he was going to have, he wanted to what? Get his hand on it. Oh my God, he, he wanted to get 
it in position. Come on. So you won't have to return to it. Amen. So it's out of order. It's out of order. But he's trying to get it in position. So he can get it in order. So you think of your life is all messed up. But action is out of position to get it in order. Thank you, Lord. But longer we don't face things, it's going to stay out of order until you let him get it in order. So that's why I keep returning because I ain't letting him get it in order. Come on. Come on, y'all. Thank you, Lord. So it's time to let him get it in order. So you all be saying, it's in order. It's in order. And it's saying, God, my life is out of order. It's in order. It's in order. God, God is getting it in order. I don't understand what's going on, but it's in order. Amen. Right on, Lord. Right on. All right, come on. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch forth my hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so did they. And Moses was fourscore years old, and Aaron was fourscore and three years old, when they spake unto Pharaoh. So there ain't no Sunday God can't get your house in order. Amen. Amen. <coughs> so, you not, my God, some people don't went through 20, 30 years with disappointment, hurting, and all the and Lord said, I don't care how old you is, I can still get your life. Amen. 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 Yes. I don't care how old you is, Willie. He can still use you and get your house in. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Lord. How old they were when God used Okay, nine hit. Okay, nine. Nine. Go to nine. Twelve through thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. And there's some reading right here. See, so look. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, mm -hmm. as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. Yes, see, God is keeping his word and getting you in oh, God's been working on you. And the, and the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, mm -hmm. and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Now Moses is facing his enemy. He's facing it. Sometimes God going to put you in a position that you're going to have to face people that you didn't think that you could face. Hey, you ever went somewhere and you just moving along with your thing and all of a sudden there's somebody that you don't like? Mm, thank and you, Lord. Stroke, and you see like they on the same aisle that you on. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. And you wonder, wonder why this happened like this? Because he wants you to what? Face it. Someday we won't face. So that we can be mad with somebody and won't talk to them. Especially husband, why we mad at each other. And see like when you go to the other room, they come in the same room where you at. <laughs> God is trying to tell you you need to face it. You need to solve this thing right now. Don't let it keep fast. Come on, we see on that. So he had to, now he facing Pharaoh. God to put him right where Pharaoh at. So Moses had to deal with his fear, his hiding, his murdering. 
So call people right there in here. Alright, come on, let's see what he says. Uh, for I will at this time send all my plagues upon thy heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. Now that stuck with me with that verse 14, when he said, I will at this time send my plague upon thy heart. That stuck with me. You know, people talk about the oh, he some plague on the land, but after he said right, he plagued upon their hearts. Heart. Mm -hmm. That that let me know that people heart is messed up. Sometimes God sent a plague on your heart mm -hmm. to ask the cause to destroy you. Right. Thank you, Lord. Because you refuse to what? Change. That's stuck in the <coughs> <coughs> head on their heart. <coughs> so God had to do some things to Pharaoh hard to get Pharaoh hard hard. Because we got some mess in us. Amen. Amen. So what God did was he disturbed that's what's inside of you. He can either clean it up or he can destroy it so that you destroy yourself. Because he control evil and good. That stuff with me. I said, oh my God. You can be so rebellious so you can turn your own self to rubber bait mind that God can actually harden your heart. He can plague your own heart. That's why I thank God you need to present your heart as a what? Living sacrifice. So God can keep your heart purified. But he said, I know the heart of man. Amen. So you wonder why sometimes people do what they do. Because their heart is played. That's mm -hmm. right. God, that stuck with me. I said, I'm going to shut your nails a bit. Amen. All right, come on. And upon thy servants and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me, that there is none like me. So God will show you who He really is. Yes. And that's what He, my God, that's what He's doing here. He's showing mankind, I'm, 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 I'm still God. <laughs> Come on. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence. Mm. And thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. And in very deed, for this cause, mm -hmm. have I raised the earth. I count you. <laughs> Your stuff that you keep returning to is because God wants you to learn. When you begin to deal with your enemy, that your enemy won't call you to fall because he raised you up for a purpose. Amen. Thank you, Lord. People will call you to fall because you won't allow God to shield your heart and get you in the position that you know what He has called you for a purpose, a destiny, a time, a season He wants to use you. Amen. But if you don't yield to what He trying to return you to so you can get delivered, then actually you will destroy your Amen. So you need to stop destroying yourself. If you got angry, you are an angry person, you need to admit, I got an angry problem. Now God, you need to deal with it, but you say, I ain't angry. If you angry. <laughs> <laughs> you just let me know what you think. But you think you angry. Amen. Come on, your action speaks louder than your words. So he got a purpose for you. 
Come on now, stop. Hanging 